slay. Slay, slay, slay. Today. Today is going to be juicy. Very juicy. Squelchy. Everything you guys want to know that was on our Instagram, you guys are going to find the tea, out about. The juice, the milk. The milk okay. is going to be milking in today's video. Yeah. yeah. The juice is going to be flowing. Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be a good. It's going to be guys. orange juice with bits. Lots of texture. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. So we have a juicy Q and A coming your way. Yeah. So Super we're going to answer juicy. a bunch of different questions. Sex related. Bit of gossip. Bit of first dates. Relationship. Biggest ex. Stuff about us. Yeah. How we met. How did we meet? <laughs> did I? We met at school. We did. Yeah. <laughs> want to see this okay so you're gonna, gonna end it this with knowing you. everything about us knowing yeah. our juiciest there is no stuff is secret nothing is censored so no. we jump straight into it shall we i feel like first do we need to discuss this hayley bieber drama uh, hayley bieber drama is a bit much i'm here there's a lot it. happening my whole tiktok page is drama i can't actually keep up with it every day there's something new hayley did this i'm Hayley's certain copying that she's copying I think she is. There's a tattoo behind the ear. They had matching. They matching earrings one day. Uh, Selena wore a pink dress. Hayley wore a pink dress. But don't you think it's a bit sus how he's just like, yeah, showing the tattoo. Yeah. But he pulls up his sleeve to show the tattoo of All Selena. Right, guys, if you haven't heard the drama, basically, there's a lot <laughs> happening. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> basically, how did it start? Oh, oh the eyebrows. Yeah, there was a little situation with Selena's eyebrows. She made Tina Gomez. Hayley Bieber made a little story. Slide remark. It did squash the drama though, but then there's just added there's things on that people are finding now. You know, people are actual spies though. Like, the way they're actually just bringing up new information, like people are searching for this People were like concept. really going in deep. I've seen videos of, of Justin Bieber when he was younger, like, I'll love Selena, I'll love you forever. Yeah. And then the song Ghost. And he actually made a video saying that most of his songs were about. about like well came from a day that's where he gets inspiration from. yeah i just think he's still in love with them her and when you hear them be. speak about <laughs> each other they have so much love for each other yeah. maybe they always have love for each other do you know just maybe not in love true true i wouldn't like that though if my husband still had love for his ex neither would i Ugh. my husband definitely doesn't have love for his ex there was something on Hayley bieber's instagram and justin bieber replied to it it was like a hate comment mm. and he was like no, we're not getting back together. We never will. I love my wife with all my heart, but I still have love for Selena. It was like, something weird like that. And you're like, whoa. Oh, that's a lot. But do you think he's just saying that because they're in the public eye? Because we wouldn't write something like that. And I don't think anyone else would. But, but that's because disrespectful. It's, it is disrespectful. But at the same time, if he was just saying that he'd never have love, and basically it would kind of seem like he's hating on Selena. So maybe is he, it seems disrespectful against Hayley, but is he doing it just to clear the air? Yeah, but like, hate against your ex. Facts. <laughs> if I ever get a boyfriend, you're not hating on your ex. Red flags. Big red flags. Oh flag. my god, red flags. Yeah. Big red flags. So imagine just, if he's like, a big red flag. <laughs> imagine if he's like, you're like looking on his phone, like you're sat on the sofa together, yeah. and he's like, oh, that's my ex. And it just comes up on his Instagram. And he's like, oh yeah, this is my ex. It goes into her profile. He's like, yeah, this is her dog now. Like, she lives with her boyfriend. <gasps> oh my God. What's that happening? That is She's getting over. a lot of deleted and out there. She's... She's a goner. The door's that way, hun. Yeah. You don't know the code for the intercom. Just... <laughs> Should we get into it? Yeah. What questions are we going to start off with? Okay, guys. So we've got a bunch of questions on our phone. We did post on Instagram. We so did. We got if... some juicy questions from that. Yeah. And if in the future you do want to join in, then don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Because we will be doing yeah. a lot of stories where you guys can join in. 100%. Funniest sex experience. Whoa. <laughs> I think you've got a funnier one than me. No, I'm not. I can't. I can't. That was actually one, but what should we do? That one. Worst date experience. I had this awful worst date Did one. Did you? Oh my god. So I rocked up, <laughs> cute heels, leather trousers. It was a man that I'd actually met in Zara. In Zara? Met this guy in Zara? Yeah, he came over and he said, do you want me to hold that? I had like loads of stuff. It was all overflowing and I was like I've never had this story the before. And I was like, do you work here? <laughs> He was like, I don't work here. I was like, ah, okay. What a mysterious man. Yeah, and then we started talking. He was from London. He was working in the area. And then his lunch break popped into Zara. And he looked like... Usher. No. 
Insert pictures. <laughs> <laughs> it did not look like Asha. What does it actually look like? Have you got a photo? I think I blocked him. No idea how I'd find him. He was old. Was he? How old? Late 20s, early 30s. A 20 year old girl. It's weird. Why are you making it weird? Yeah, and surely you would have been younger then. I agreed to it. So that's why he's had no limits reason. Though, though. Yeah, but also reflected on me because why should I go? Yeah. Saw him walking, walking. I see this. It was night. I see this in the shadow. Oh no. And I was like, oh, that's bad. We all know what that means. What's he drinking? And to walk back the same way, he came to meet me. It was a magnum bottle. That's bad. It was a that's magnum bottle. That's an insult. Bottle. And I was like, was that your bottle? He was like, yeah, I just had a quick Maggie. And I was like, no, no. And then he asked if I had a phone charger. And I said, yeah, I've got a portable charger. And I gave it to him. In the short walk we had, he Why told me. Why is he drinking a magnum? That he claims on benefits and he works at the same time because he can make extra income. I think that's fraud. Secondly, that's not very motivating for me. No. Didn't really inspire There's me. There's probably a family out there that probably actually need that. Exactly, and it just was not vibes anyway. That's not what you want. We got to the restaurant, and the waiter came over, asked what we want to drink, and I just said, look, my brother's at home. He's young. I didn't realise my mum was going out tonight. I thought I'd go back and look after him. Keep the portable charger. I'm off. You let him keep the portable charger? No, and it fucking annoyed me because he's got an Apple lead as well. It wasn't a fake lead, it was an Apple lead. 30 quid, that. Uh, you so yeah, that was my there. worst first date story. Oh yeah. my gosh, and then what's at me the next day? It was like, I've just been thinking about it. It's on my mind. Like, did was your brother really left at home? Or <laughs> did you just leave? And I said, look, to be honest, I wasn't getting the vibes. I had to go. You told him? I told him. I went to London. I saw him and he said, he walked past me and went, Redden, because that's where I'm from. And then just kept walking. And I was like, oh my God, that's that like creepy that's guy. That's a bit of an ick. Oh, he's probably got a list of girls. But he just sees and he thinks, Redden. Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> what was your worst day story? Mine was fucking traumatic. Well, it wasn't traumatic. It was not you the vibe. So nice. I dressed up. I had my little clip clock heels on. Where was it that I went to? What was Battersea. It? Battersea, that's it. I'm thinking, yeah, cute guy. Let's go. I'm going to go see my Battersea. Very square jaw. He did have very... Like, <laughs> like, almost. You look at him front on and there's just stuff oh there. Oh, my God. He was cute. Though. That's what I went on I would describe him as looking like an action man cross a guess a guess who figure. Guess who? Like we the, said he looked like a guess who man. You flick him down. I'm, I'm dressed up. Going to about to say, oh, that is too <laughs> I don't actually remember his name. I don't remember my one's name. Do you know what? No, I actually really can't remember. Richard. <laughs> David? <laughs> Sam? Is that you? <laughs> I'm going there and he's like, we're gonna go for a bit of wine. I love a bit of wine. I get there. The minute I get there, he tries to kiss me. No. So I'm like, no. Fuck. I don't know if he went for my lips or my cheek, but I'm assuming he went for my lips. Was it like, it was very was it direct. Like, it was very right in. Because I'm a hugger. Yeah. So I'm coming to hug you. And he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? I'm like, no. And I'm like, so no. Like, and I'm just like, this is not it. So straight away, I'm getting a big red flag. That all this guy wants to do right now is get in the undies. He trying to. <laughs> he trying to <laughs> slide down. And I say, no, go. <laughs> I say, you better get the fuck out of here. I say, I need to leave. I need to run. <laughs> I'm a little girl yeah. fast, my mom. <laughs> Within the first minute, I can tell that me and this guy are not vibing. It's a very slow start. It should be a bit exciting for them, at least... Yeah, ten minutes like, with someone. Like, yeah. By the way, I was with him for ten minutes. We're starting to walk around. He's like, "What do you want to do?" Oh, we were Have you not planned right? something? I thought Why you mark? knew the area. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Tell me we're walking, but I am in my heels, and he has a bag on him. Immediately, I knew that this wasn't the vibe. What do you mean, like a Tesco bag? Not like a Tesco. <laughs> 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 So we it just got some essentials for later. Probably get some snacks for the, for the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> some condom foods and yeah. some squashies. Yeah, literally. So, Do you like Dorito? <laughs> Do you like Ben and Jerry? <laughs> got some Luke say to wash the, wash the taste yeah, out of your mouth. <laughs> and then I was like, how am I going to get out of this? Because by this time, we're walking around Battersea Power Station. What, the shopping centre? Yeah, we're in the you know, date attire? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Imagine me and my click block heels trying to work myself around there. Yeah. Not working. His square drawer. Yeah. See this little bar, it looks cute, right? He's like, oh, do you reckon they do food in there? And I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, you can tell it's a bar. There's not any food in you there. You can tell. You can tell. I mean, it might do, but it looks like a bar. So we walk up there, he's like, oh, do you do food? 
they're like no it's a bar and i'm like okay so we walk back down these stairs at this point i'm getting fed up he said he wants to grab something a quick munch uh, this guy looked like he was on something i'm not lying talking to me just was not he there. was just not not cooperating with me so we go into prep i'm in my click clock here i was in prep so then i'm like Do i get a latte <laughs> get a sandwich the guy's getting a sandwich. So I was bad. violated. That's so bad. So then I'm like, oh, I'm getting a call. Wait, I was calling you. You're calling I? me. And I, I didn't you. answer. Two minutes later, I get a call from Tallulah. I'm like, oh my God, this is awful news. I go back to the guy and I'm like, I'm really sorry, but I I have to go. I've got to go pick up my friend. I made up a really bad excuse anyway. I just said to say that your friend broken up with her boyfriend. I took it really far. I just took the excuse really far. She took it really far. I was there for 10 minutes. I did check. She, she was gone. And I was gone. And then you made a long commute home. Bad to see as far. Let alone the pump of your YSL foundation that you would have used. Yeah. Laura Mercier loose powder underneath my eyes. Let alone the hairspray. Let alone the electricity to straight do you know your what? hair. Let alone the fucking effort I put into this body, alright? <laughs> that day, she was <laughs> You were blocked. I think I was blocked. But the guy was on something. Anyways, moving on. Worst dates. Worst dates. Biggest regret. Oh. See, I don't have any regrets. I personally try not to have regrets. Yeah. Because everything happens for a reason. Exactly. And then the end. It, works it does. Everything works out how it's meant to. Yeah, I agree. And there's no point regretting anything because, you know, it makes you into who you are today. It does. And you don't know what opportunities could come from what you've learned. Biggest ick for a boy. You have a sexy tongue and they do a baby voice. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking dreadful, that. Oh, but well, you'd probably like that because you'd be like, oh, Lily. <laughs> I personally think the term ick has been overused. Like no, a man walking sure. down a hill isn't an ick. No, but imagine him like... <laughs> I know what you mean, trying to balance his ways. Like, for example, a man brushing his teeth, people would be like, that's an ick. It's like, no. I feel like a bit the of an ick. guy needs a fresh breath. I feel like if I was meeting someone for the first time, do you know what? And they had no ambition. They just had nothing. Mm. I feel like that's an ick. Bit more of a turn off though, right? It's more of a turn off than yeah. it. Okay, so what's your opinion on Whip splitting it. the bill? On a first date, are you splitting the bill? I'll offer, I'll reach with the purse. If he says yes, out of there. Yeah. 2023, um, gender equality is a virtue. But I feel like it's the gentlemanly thing to do. You've invited me is, out. I feel like if you invite someone out, you're initiating that you're taking them out. If I say to you, old oh, Tallulah, I'm going to go grab some food. I can go with some food, that's me, I don't want your money, I'm offering you food, do you know what I mean? I feel like that's kind of different. No, it's not though. If it's say for example, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to the and you learn blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's me offering you it. But also it's different because you're not trying to court me. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says, you look fit, I want to take you on a date. We're going here, I've got yeah. this place. You want my time, you want me to turn up, you want me to make an effort for you. I think it would be nice if you offered, and if yeah, I would offer too. Offer. Yeah, but I think it would really be attractive for me if you're like, babe, I've got this. Show me you can mm. cast me. Hey, cool, I'll get the second one. You want to go for a bar after? I've got that. I've got so that. I've got that. That's not me. Yeah, that's yeah. on me. You've got. I think that's a nice that. dynamic. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Bit of split. So, okay. what would be your best date? Like, what would you want to do? I feel like it's all down to the vibe of the person. Clara likes activities. I love an activity. Oh, <laughs> Nothing works. <laughs> Guys, if you ever take me on a date, any of you, take me on a big fat swing. Don't take, don't take, don't take me to crazy Everyone knows about that. I don't like that. I just, I don't get the vibe. I don't want to be bending down. A first date, you've not met them before. It's so difficult because I'm so down to the vibe. I know it sounds stupid, but like, if we don't get that dinner vibe, like where we're very like intimate, blah, blah, blah. The last thing I want to do is sit at a dinner table with you. Someone slides in your DMs, you've been speaking for like a week, and they're like, look, I really, not a week, maybe a couple, how long does it take these mm. days? A couple days? <laughs> maybe maybe like, week, two, three weeks. I'm not, maybe three, I get bored two, quite. Two, three weeks of talking, you would go on a date? Are you kidding well, no, me? No, you'd probably arrange it sooner, but not like. that long for you, mate. The most I'd wait is like two weeks. Yeah, okay, so it's ideal then. I'm like, he's popped oh. up, you've spoken consistently for like four or five days, he's like, look, been a pleasure speaking to you. I want to meet you. I want to see what you're about. I want to take you on a date. Mm. I have booked 
what are you going to get excited for? Steak. We're going to a steakhouse. Oh, that's not an activity. I think you're on a swing. The biggest swing in Europe. <laughs> Fuck me, I would be turned right on. <laughs> right, we're going on a steak date, right? If you're taking me on a steak date, a steak date. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm getting dressed up. Okay, I'm getting ready. I'm coming to see you. So London, it's a beautiful steak restaurant. Yeah. And I've booked us a lovely bar after. Okay. First time you meet them. Yeah. You get there, the drinks are flowing, right? This this would be your ideal, right? You get there and turn up. Oh, hi, mister, and your date tonight. I'll like to bring you over to this table. You've got a lovely intimate table in the back. You're sat on like a little bench. He's sat on the chair opposite you. You're having lovely food. He's asking about your family. He's asking about your girls. He's asking about your dating history. It's really comfortable. He's being open and honest. He's saying, look, this is where I'm at. This is what I'm looking for. I've been hurt in the past. He's vulnerable with you. And he's like, do you know what? I've had a really good time with you. This time he's like, should we get a dessert to share? You're like, yeah. yeah. He's like, do you know what? I tell you what, I'm going to come sit next to you. So he comes sits next to you on the bench and he's like, you look beautiful. Maybe like this. And you're talking and talking and talking. He's like, right, should we go to the next place? He grabs your hand. He lets you walk out first. And then you walk in. He grabs your hand, walks out with you. Books the taxi. Gets you in the taxi. You've gone to this next place. It's a bit of a vibe. There's some music playing. Maybe you're sat at the bar. It's quite fun, it's a bit more vibey, you're having another couple drinks, maybe two drinks. You're at four or five drinks at this point, no more. She's going to get drunk. And then he says, right, it's been so nice to see you. I'm taking you out again. Let's do something fun next time. Where do you want to go? <laughs> you're like, I'm like falling in love. <laughs> I think I might just go on a date with her. <laughs> and then he's like, I'm going to take us to somewhere fun. Tell you what, there's a massive swing. <laughs> I'm going to be close. I'm taking my house. I'm taking you to the kids' park. <laughs> Do you like sea sauce? <laughs> yeah. Put in your comfy shoes, you look absolutely glamorous and absolutely gorgeous tonight. Let me see you, let me see you in your comfies. We'll go on this big swim, we'll have some fun, we'll go grab some food after and we'll see where it goes. And then he messaged you. It's been so nice to meet you tonight. You look absolutely stunning. Can't wait to see you again. This is what we're doing. Here's the date. And then that's it. And then he calls you the next evening. 20 minute phone call. Oh, How have you been? <laughs> That's it. Next morning, good morning. That's it for the day. In the evening, a message. That's it. Just keep the conversation minimal, but keep it there. Keep you intrigued. I'm in love. Shout out to Liam Tallboys because he did very similar. <laughs> Do you know what? That sounds like a perfect day. Doesn't it? That sounds. If I was a man, that's great. how I would roll. Get rolling. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. How good would that feel to get dressed up for a man that just appreciates you, takes you to a nice restaurant, shows you off? Because that's what I want. I like the fact that they don't go for the kiss. Mm -hmm. I think that's... Not mister. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit far. Yeah, that is a bit fucking far. That's very far. Mm. So, I don't know if we actually answered whether it's right to split the bill or not, but I feel like it's... N no, I feel I like feel it's like nice if the man pays. Always offer, but it is nice when they pay. I don't mind splitting. I'm not paying for the whole bill because you've invited me out. Don't be so daft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that. I agree with that. This is great tips, men. Take notes. We hope you enjoyed our Q&A. Yeah. Kept it juicy. <laughs> we did keep it juicy. Can you get an insight a little bit more about us now? I think that's Specifically a good what we, we like in the guy. <laughs> Specifically. If you're a man, I think this is an excellent yeah. video for... If you need any tips, tips trick on this video. Emails yeah. looking for tips, tricks, and what to do. If you want a little handbook of women, yeah. this, this video we should I think is going to write a book. We probably should. On how a man should treat a woman. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in our next video. Mwah. Bye!